Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a face cam border for your videos or maybe even a live stream. So before I get started, I just wanted to say be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're already, because I am on my way to 15,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first thing that you guys can probably notice is that this video does require Photoshop, but don't exit out if you don't have Photoshop. I actually have made a video on how to get Photoshop for free on a PC, so check that out in the description below. But once you actually have it all downloaded and are ready to go, come back to this video and uh, let's get started. Uh, your Photoshop might look a bit different than mine does. I do have the newest version, but overall the steps haven't changed at all throughout these versions, so it should be pretty straightforward and easy to follow. The first thing that you want to do is click the file button on the top left. Once you click that, go ahead and click on new. And once you click on new, you're kind of going to see your like picture settings right here, like your image settings. And right here, ignore width and height for now, but make sure that everything else is like pixels, pixels, pixel, pixels, slash inch, 8-bit, RGB color, transparent, and 300. Now back to the width and height. So this is actually what your video would be. So like your actual video. If you render out in 1080p, go ahead and keep it 1920 by 1080. But if you make videos in 720p, you should be fine to just go ahead and do 1280 by 720. And uh, I really doubt that anyone still makes lower than 720p quality videos so i'm not really going to cover that but on the off chance that you actually still do that um go ahead and click the link in the description below for an aspect ratio converter and it will tell you the height and width you should set if you have a lower quality video but once you're done with that just go ahead and click on ok and you should be greeted with like a canvas like i have right here and now what these white and gray squares kind of represent are where your video would be so this whole entire like white rectangle the whole thing would be where your actual video would be whether that's gameplay or i don't know like maybe your screen or something like that that's where your gameplay would be now what you want to do once you actually have all this set is click on the rectangle button right here on your like little taskbar and let's say uh, you don't actually have the rectangle button what you want to do is look for any of the shapes that kind of look like this and then all you have to do is just go to them hold on the button with your like mouse and you can change it to the rectangle tool once you have that selected just go ahead and click anywhere in the middle of the screen and it's going to create a rectangle box like this one right here now the same thing applies if you're recording 1080p with your webcam then you would want to do 1920 by 1080 let's say you record in 720p on your webcam you you'd want to do 1280 by 720. The last number is usually always whatever like the quality of that video is. So since mine is 1080, I'm going to change that to 1080 and I'm going to change this to 1920. Now, once I've done that, all I have to do is just click on OK and I should be set to go from here. Now, there's a chance that your rectangle is not going to look like mine does right now. So what you want to do is click on fill and make sure that uh, this is like the little dash right here. Click that and you should just have a line right there. And then what you want to do is click on stroke and then just click on black. Uh, sorry, I accidentally clicked on green, but once you click on black, you should be good to go. And from here, just go to your keyboard and hold control and then click on T. And then you can actually just bring your thing down, but make sure you hold the shift key while you actually do it. Because when you hold shift, you can actually make sure the aspect ratio stays the same for this. Or like kind of like the dimension. So as you can see, it doesn't like... Here, I'll just like show you guys like it's not gonna like mess up like this or anything like this So I'm just gonna quickly go back to how mine was all right guys So once you've actually resized and you were holding shift while you were doing it Um, I'm just gonna quickly resize it a bit more just move it to whatever corner you would want it to be on when you're making your video So a lot of people tend to do it on the upper right hand corner But some people put it on the left some people even put it like right here in the middle if they have a game that kind of has like a kill feed over here or something like that But I'm just gonna put it on the top right for now then go ahead and just click on the little check mark up here and once you've done that, you basically got the webcam border set and you're ready to go. But let's say you want to add some text or something like that. I'm just going to quickly teach you guys how to do that as well. Click the little T button right here, which stands for text, and kind of like drag out a little like text box. Once you've done that, type in whatever you want. So I'm just going to quickly type in my name. All right, guys, so I just typed in my name and it's kind of hard to see because it's white font. But what I'm actually going to do is just click on the check box right here. And it's right here in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but what we're going to do to make it look nicer is double click on the layer right here. And then you're going to see a little window like this. So I'm going to move it to the side so you guys can see what I'm doing. What I'm going to do from here is actually add a stroke. And that's going to put a little black line around my text and it actually makes it way easier to see. So I tend to put my strokes at either four or five depending on how small like the object is i feel like for this video it would actually be good at five because the webcam border is so thick but once you're done with that just click on Control t on your keyboard one more time and then just move it over to your webcam and once you feel like you found like a good spot to put it like on your webcam a lot of people tend to put their text like right here in the middle but once you found that good spot i'm just gonna move it down a bit more and uh, once you feel like you're ready just click on the checkbox right here and you should be good to go in that aspect now another thing a lot of people tend to do is actually add like color to their rectangle 
rectangle border instead of making it only black. So what you can do is just double click on the rectangle layer right here. What a lot of people tend to do is actually just go ahead and click on the color overlay button right here and they'll just change whatever this color is right here. They just click on it and a box like this should appear and you can just change the webcam to whatever color you want. But what I'm actually going to do is just set a gradient on it instead of a solid color overlay because it's going to look nicer. So all you have to do is just up the opacity all the way and then just change whatever like gradient you want. There's chances you probably don't have all these like I do right here. But you can make your own custom gradients and it's pretty simple to do. So I'm just going to quickly look for like a nice blue one and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done with that. Alright guys, so I actually just found a gradient I liked. And once you're done with that, you basically made your webcam overlay and all that good stuff. You can just click on your text if you want to change anything with that. You can go ahead and add a gradient. Up the opacity all the way and as you can see it's kind of like orangish right now. But I actually liked it at white so I'm going to leave it like that. Click on OK and you're actually ready to go from here. So what you want to do is click on File, Save As, and this is a key thing that you want to do. You want to make sure that the format is actually a PNG instead of anything else. I know a lot of people are used to JPEGs or PSDs or whatever you use, but PNG is what you want to use so that nothing else gets covered up besides your webcam. Once you're done with that, just go ahead and name whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it at Untitled and just click on Save. Click on OK and from there you're honestly good to go. So I'm going to quickly add it to my OBS with my webcam and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. Alrighty guys, so here I am in OBS and I've actually got my webcam on and my monitor capture so you guys can see whatever's on my screen and my webcam right now but if you wanted to add your overlay all you would have to do is just click on the uh, sources box right click it click add and then go to image once you click on image you can name it whatever you want so I'm gonna name it overlay and now that I've done that just click on ok and from here you can browse for your image so I remember I named it untitled dash one click on open click on ok and as you can see there it is so there's a chance that your uh, webcam isn't actually the proper like dimensions or something like that so what you would do is you can either uh, uh, change the size of your webcam to fit into the smaller box like I am doing right now or you can actually make your webcam bigger like let's say you want to make it that big and then you can just quickly unedit that scene go to overlay click edit scene on that and just drag it out until it fits the webcam and uh, as you can see there it is so let's say you had some like gameplay or something in the background then this webcam would actually be covering everything that's behind it but that's really it for the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to hit that like button share this video with your friends and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if y'all aren't ready because I am on my way to 15,000 subscribers and all hope is appreciated but other than that I'll see you guys in my next video peace